So I'm gonna bring you along for this journey and tell you how it goes. So we're here waiting to uh, board the Zephyr train. It's my first time taking this specific route in Amtrak and I'm so excited to see all of the different cool stops that we're going to have. So I'm gonna bring you along for this journey and tell you how it goes. Well, it's officially nighttime here. It's our first night on the Zephyr, and it is just so peaceful and quiet here. Everybody is asleep right now. Um, if you are doing the Zephyr for the long haul like we are, and you enjoy just wandering about, I definitely suggest just like walking quietly and going to the observation room. I don't know. If you can see that, but that is the moon. If you are a light sleeper, I definitely suggest getting a roomette or your own private quarters because it is like the only place where you'll be able to completely lie down. Me, I'm more of a heavy sleeper, so I'm able to just knock out on the economy chairs. Got a little chance to get off, and there's this restaurant at the Grand Junction Station. I'm gonna try some food out. Part of the reason why we were so excited for <laughs> burgers and French dip sandwiches is because we had traveled on the train before in a much shorter distance and um, we have been able to access the dining cart. Uh, at that time, 
we were in, we were not in coach seats, we were actually in one of the roomettes, but we made friends with people who were not in the roomettes and they were able to also come and join us in the dining cart. However, due to the COVID restrictions that Amtrak had, um, we were not allowed as coach passengers into the dining meal carts. And um, because of that, <laughs> we were really excited to have food that was not microwaved from the uh, the cafe cart. The dining cart gets full meals like um, a little bit of steak, they get chicken, they get uh, also a prepared fish at, at times, and the cafe cart gets uh, microwaved hamburgers and microwaved tacos. Yeah, so there's a big difference. So we were really excited to <laughs> get that, that food at that Grand Junction station stop. Another little rest break, stretch break, and so it's not as it. cold as it looks at all. It's really nice. Not at all. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like actually like kind of humid, which is not something I would expecting at all. But it's is so pretty. Nice you see the mountains back it's there. Huh? How is lovely. It? So it seems that Glenwood Springs is a worthwhile stop. There are hot springs here, and I don't know if you can see it up here in the corner, but there's an amusement park as well. So if you have a layover and you have the time, this is definitely a place to check out. We're about to go. <laughs> We're about to hit the continental divide of the United States. Ah! Ah! <laughs> starting our third and final day on the Zephyr train from California over to the East Coast and so far the experience has been very positive. We've been staying in coach seats which has been okay for me the first couple of nights but now it's starting to wear on me um, especially with um, all of the traffic that we got from Denver but we've only got one more night on this train to go so we're gonna stick it out. Currently I am in the lounge room and I quite like this bathroom because it has Jack and Jill sinks as well as that nice seating area um, for me to get changed in. So it's quite comfortable as far as like those type of amenities go. I woke up a little bit more on the early side, but that's due to a time change. So um, we're going to see how this last day goes. <laughs>
So we are on our second train, third night, uh, sleeping on the train. We're gonna be in the coach class. And it seems that we have the entire thing almost to ourselves, which is gonna be really nice, at least for now, yeah. <laughs> um, so hopefully we'll get some better rest this trip. We're at a pit stop in Buffalo, New York. I slept through all of um, <laughs> New Jersey. My makeup is like all over my face because I was out. But only a couple more stops until we start our bus line. <laughs> only a couple more stops until we start our bus line over to Vermont. Yay! It is like pitch black out here and you cannot see me, but we finally made it okay, to good. Middlebury. Woo! Overall, I would say that I really enjoyed this trip. It was a little bit difficult to do on coach seats, but it was very beautiful. The staff on the train was absolutely lovely. Even though our food options were limited, it was okay because everybody was so kind. And honestly, I would highly recommend taking this route. Hey everyone, I'm currently in the process of editing my new video, which will be up for you guys hopefully quite soon. Um, if you want a little bit of a sneak peek as to what I've been up to, why did I go on this train trip in the first place, then go ahead and add me on my sunroom where I've already uploaded some exclusive content. It's only for my members to see. It's not open to the general public. So if you're interested and you wanna know what's been going on, then I encourage you to go and check it out. Become my friend, become part of my community. Thank you so much.